<sighs> well, it looks like it's just you and me. So, what? Rocco, where'd he go? Rocco! Quasi! That's what my mum always says. <laughs> Let's swap rocks. I want my old rock back. Why? Because it's better. I'm sure the rocks that I gave you were exactly the same. No, my old rock had a brown spot on it and this one doesn't. Let's swap back. No. I'm sure we can work this out. Now flip. Mum, flap! He's flip! Oh, sorry, flap. You mean flip! Yes, floop. I mean fleep. I mean, oh, flappity flippers. <sighs> flap, if you flip over your rock, you'll see it has a brown spot just like flaps. I mean flips! You're right! Flappy now. I mean, happy now. Happy! Phew. See that bird up there? Hi, matey. I like to play a little game with him. Watch this. Hey there, you big beaky birdie. You don't scare me. <laughs> See, now he's coming to get me. Shiver, whiskers. He is coming to get you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was close. Rocco, me hearty. You have to be a little more careful. Even in my pirate days, I know... Where'd he go? Rocco? Quasi! Cannonball! <laughs> I think Captain <laughs> Barnacles has the easy job today. This water is getting rough. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. There's a storm about to hit and it's big. The iceberg has changed direction. It's heading towards... Me! Dashie! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's a big storm on the way. <gasps> That's dangerous for the Adeli penguin parents. They could get lost at sea. The storm will blow ice and snow onto the shore. Peso and Quasi will need to find a way to keep the chicks warm. Dashie, contact Peso and tell him to get ready for ice and snow. Already on it, Captain. I'll find and rescue the Adeli penguin parents, but I'll need a bigger gup. Tweak, meet me outside the octopod with the gup C. Got it, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> I'm coming to get you! Getting off this ship. Follow that snake! This must lead to the sea. Oh no, you don't! <laughs> Captain, the snake is escaping through the lab vent. Let me see if I can help. I need to get into the sea. Why are you trying to stop me? We're just trying to help. There's a dangerous whirlpool out there. If you go out now, you'll get sucked right in. Seriously? We're so serious. So, can we bring you back to your eggs until the whirlpool passes? That's not how it usually works, Penguin, but sure. They hatched! That's great! 
But, um, where are the babies? When baby sea crates hatch, the first thing they do is look for... Water! 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 Find water! 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 Captain! Dashi! Come in! The eggs have hatched! Is it safe for the snakes to leave the octopod? It's not safe at all. They'll get sucked right into the whirlpool. Find those baby snakes and keep them on the octopod. Repeat, keep those snakes on the octopod. Five baby sea snakes. How many should there be altogether? Six. Yeah, one of them's missing. Huh? Oh no! Dashie, what's going on down there? One of the snakes reversed the ship. I'll try to change direction. It's no use, we're getting sucked in! The great white shark is one of the most powerful predators in the sea. And one of the hungriest. That's true. He does like to eat. And he'll try just about anything to see if he likes it. If he doesn't, he'll just spit it out. Well, I'm not afraid of any shark. I don't care how great he is. Peso, I can bandage him. Um, Quasi, I'm the medic. It's my job to help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Shellington, is there a way to safely approach the great white shark? There is one way. Sometimes, when a shark is flipped over on its back, it gets very calm and peaceful. But, it only stays that way for a short amount of time. I could bandage the shark if it were calm and peaceful, but he's swimming away. Oh. 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 oh! Many sharks have to keep moving to stay alive. If they stop moving, they can't breathe. Then we'll need to flip the shark over to calm him down. Keep him moving so he can breathe, and then Peso can bandage him up. Tweak, prepare the Gup X. Great white shark straight ahead. Attention, shark. We are the Octonauts, and we're here to help! Ooh, that looks tasty! If it's all right, I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... <laughs> As I was saying, I... Thanks! Oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. <laughs> but a shark's got to eat! <laughs> you can't eat the cup eggs! <laughs> getting tired, and if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving and he won't be able to breathe. Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain. Yow! Oh, you shark! Uh, can you not see I'm trying to eat? You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. Seriously? Ooh, I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! Oh, my fin hurts. Mm, but I'm still gonna get you. <laughs> Here, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Ah, good work, Quasi. And flick! Oh, I feel so calm. Still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be your friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clam. Time for the next part of the plan. <laughs> that kind of thing. Spotlight. Nothing. Let's take a closer look. Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi, you head left, and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me... The Claw! 
on account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. Look, there's my wife, Claudette, but her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah, how did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years, so it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking! You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. Crack! Keep pulling! Tweak, deploy the rescue suction line. I Us coconut crabs are landlubbers. Those boys can't swim. Then we need to move fast. Tweak, Quasi, Claude, into the Gup X and bring some coconuts. That's right. Eat my ink. <laughs> I'm taking you down. Way down. I'm afraid he's hooked us. Understood. Quasi, to the launch bay. Here's the plan. We'll swim outside and use our own paws to pry those hooks off the ship. It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. If the sperm whales try to eat the colossal squid, then they might take a bite out of the octopod too. Oh, it's every squid for himself. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh. <laughs> Stop holding on to me. Let go. You're the one who's hooked onto us. You're right. I'm stuck. I'll never get away from the sperm whales if I can't move fast enough. Captain, the sperm whales are getting closer. Oh, we're doomed! Don't worry. We'll keep you and the octopod safe from the sperm whales. Octonauts, prepare all gups for launch. Thank you for our colossal dinner. Octonauts, let's do this.
chasing us. Yes, Peso, but sperm whales breathe air, so sooner or later they'll have to swim back up to the surface to breathe. <sighs> Can't keep going. Must go up there. Good work, Octonauts. Yeah, what's that? More whales? It sounds familiar. No, Wolves, Captain. Sounds like a call for help. It is. Then we haven't got a moment to lose. Quasi, Peso, to the launch bay. <laughs> It's coming from inside that ice tunnel. Shiver me whiskers, Captain. Look, there's been an avalanche. They must be somewhere behind all that ice. Ahoy in there! No walls! Are you all right? Help us, please! We are trapped in here! We can't get out! <gasps> I know that voice. Boris? Ah, Barnacles, is this you? Yes, old friend. What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes, until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for a narwhal to punch through. <laughs> and we are almost out of air. Then we need to get you out of there now. Octonauts to the HQ! <laughs> Octonauts, three narwhals are trapped under the ice and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish! Narwhals are whales and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this! I found a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. Da! Please hurry, old friend! We are feeling very weak! Ah, it's caught on something! Ah, ah. Yes! That did it! Ah, ah. There it is! <gasps> ah, thank you! Much better! Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice! Dashi? Let's try the Gupsy's Icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. Yeah, what's that? More whales? It sounds familiar. No whales, Captain. Sounds like a call for help. It is. Then we haven't got a moment to lose. Quasi, Peso, to the launch bay. It's coming from inside that ice tunnel. Shiver me whiskers, Captain. Look, there's been an avalanche. They must be somewhere behind all that ice. Ahoy in there! No walls! Are you all right? Help us, please! We are trapped in here! We can't get out! <gasps> I know that voice! Boris? Ah, Barnacles, is this you? Yes, old friend. What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes? Until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for a narwhal to punch through. <laughs> And we are almost out of air! Then we need to get you out of there now! Octonauts, to the HQ! <laughs> oh. 
Octonauts. Three narwhals are trapped under the ice and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish! Narwhals are whales and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. Da, please hurry, old friend. We are feeling very weak. Ah, it's caught on something. Ah, ah. Yes, that did it. Ah, ah. There it is. <gasps> Ah, uh, thank you. Much better. Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice. Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. What we've got here is a case of a missing fish. A patient of yours, perhaps. How? Did I know that? <laughs> Swimming towards the octopod, I found this thread. Special type only used to make bandages. So I figure you must be a medic. I am. Yes, I can tell your heart's beating fast, so I guess you're worried, which means this patient of yours is in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, you contacted me. So obviously, they're lost or missing. Ho 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 ho! Well, you're good. I always find my fish. The fish we're looking for is a remora. Named Nora. But I'm afraid we don't have any good clues for you. Oh, Harry can find clues, but the rest of us can't. It's all in our whiskers. That's because harbour seals' whiskers are so sensitive, they can detect the slightest ripple in the water made by any fish. And track it for a hundred miles. Wow! Now then, how about you take me to the last place you saw Nora the Remora? This is the spot. My whiskers are picking up a uh, big fish, fast moving, passed right by here. And now I detect a little ripple from a little fish. That's probably Nora. The big fish and the little fish moved on together from here. Can you tell which way they went, Harry? According to my whiskers, they went this way. Follow me, chaps. Yeah. There's definitely a big fish and a little fish in there. Let's take a look. It's a big fish and little fish, all right. But it's not Nora. It's a cleaning wrasse and a shark. Hey, big guy. You want cleaning? You must wait until I'm finished with shark. Yeah, take a swim, Harbour Seal. <gasps> Come on, Harry. Oh, this won't take long. Uh, yes, excuse me, we're looking for a missing fish and we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. I don't like questions. Hey, please, the shark, he needs to relax. Yes, yes, but I'm just wondering if you've seen... Oh! Hey, 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 hey! Come back, shark, I need to clean your teeth. We'd better stop that shark before it takes a bite out of Harry. Easy now. Don't chomp my friend. I'll take it from here. Now, don't move till I'm finished cleaning your teeth. You must relax. <laughs> <sighs> Everyone all right? Ha! <laughs> Thanks for saving my seal skin barnacles. But it's a good thing that shark chase is over here, or I might have missed this. My whiskers are detecting more ripples. I'd say these ripples were made by a big fish and a little fish. Excellent, my dear Peso. And the trail leads us to a little hole in the sand. Leon? Peso? Please, can I have my sticker? Oh, and one other thing. The octopod's about to flood! Huh?
Starbound. Sorry, big fella. We sort of kind of sucked you into the octopod. But we're going to get you and your tentacles back into the ocean. <gasps> but what about my friends? Those little fishes are in the big danger. I must leave here at once. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Leo, stop. You'll hurt yourself. Aso's right. Please, let us help you and your friends. Okay, but please be quick. <laughs> Tulip. Leo's stings don't seem to bother him. <laughs> Will you stay here and keep Leo company? Super couple. Leo, on my honor as an octonaut, we will get you out of here. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, swim to the HQ. And wear your sting-proof suits. <laughs> Octonauts, these tentacles belong to a lion's mane jellyfish named Leo. He's stuck in the bubble engine. And everywhere else. Of course. Tentacles this long could only belong to a lion's mane jellyfish. Lion's manes are the largest jellyfish in the world. As long as a blue whale. Their tentacles often provide protection to smaller fish. <laughs> oh no! Dogfish! Those fish are in serious danger without Leo around. We need to act fast. Our mission is to untangle these tentacles and protect those fish. Captain, it's been my experience that tentacles untangling tentacles is never a good idea. I'd have to agree. But I could protect these fish. I don't have stinging tentacles, but I do. Aha! Shoot ink! Okay, Professor, but please be careful. Of course, Captain! Hey, so you're an expert at wrapping and unwrapping bandages. Any tips? It's all in the flipper. <laughs> the pickles! <laughs> but what if you don't have any flippers? Then it's all in the wrist. Oh. Ouch! Sorry, Leo! Try it again, Quasi. But this time, take a deep breath and make the following sounds. Remember, these crabs are extra fast, so we'll need to be quick. Got it? Got it! This could take a while, so if you need a break, Tulip and the Vegemals have set up a seaweed snack station. Super, super. Octonauts, let's do this! <laughs> Sounds like Tunip. Tunip, is everything all right? Shiver me whiskers! It's the marine iguanas! Octonauts! <laughs> Funny running into you here! Yeah, imagine that! Piggy, <laughs> Ted, Sneezy, aren't you a little far from home? Ooh, not a little, a long way from home. First, red rock crabs, and now marine iguanas. How did all these creatures from the Galapagos end up here? Go on, tell him, Iggy. Shush, I was just about to. It all started with a wild storm. The winds were so strong, they swept us right out to sea. Luckily for us, we was able to grab onto a clump of floating kelp. We used this kelp as a life raft. And a snack. We drifted for days, and our kelp raft was getting smaller. Well, I was hungry. <laughs> Till eventually, we was washed up here, on the, this little island. Ah, and so the red rock crabs must have been carried here on kelp rafts too. That's incredible. No, it's terrible. The water here's too cold for us to die for seaweed to eat. That's why we've been, uh, borrowing your little snacks. 
Don't worry, iguanas. We'll take you and the crabs back home. Just as soon as we can round them up. <laughs> you never catch red rock crabs like that. <sighs> I think you're right. If only we had something to distract them so we could sneak up on them. Captain, I think I know just the thing. Now what do we do? Just pretend you're sunbathing. Oh, <laughs> shoo! Shh! Here they come. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Three iguanas ready for cleaning. Hey, Chuck, so hungry! Red rock crabs love to climb on marine iguanas and eat the gunk off their backs. That way, both of them benefit. One gets fed, the other one gets cleaned. It's not for nothing they call us sponges the hotels of the sea. And it doesn't bother you. No, not at all. I've never had any problems. Oh, until today. Yes, and if the sponge isn't happy, we aren't happy. Oh. Where are we anyway? Yeah, nobody bothered to ask us before they yanked us off our reef and stuck us in this pan. And what's with all the poking and prodding and light shining in me eyes? Well, well I say. This used to be a nice place to live. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. Uh-oh, they're running out of room. We need to find places to put all these creatures fast. Oh, 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 that's the last one, Peso. Do you feel any better now that everybody's out? No, there's still something in there. What could it be? I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. We've got to take a closer look inside. Tunip, sponge your scope, please. All right, this shouldn't hurt, but you may feel a little... <laughs> Tickle. Having a look in. No. See anything yet, Peso? Aha! <laughs> Shellington, what is that creature? It looks like a louse. A whale louse. <coughs> what are you looking at? A louse. No wonder I'm feeling so lousy. That thing doesn't belong inside of me. <laughs> You're telling me? He doesn't look like he's feeling very well either. Of course he isn't. Whale lice can only survive on whales, not inside sponges. Excuse me, Mr. Louse, but we need to get you out of this sponge right away. <laughs> oh no, no way. I'm a whale louse. I ain't leaving until somebody finds me a whale to live on. Captain, the sponge won't feel better until the louse is out of her, and the louse won't feel better until he's back on a whale. Then there's only one thing to do. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, we have to find a whale for a sick whale louse. And we need to find it fast. Yeah! Oh no! Where's Dorian? There, mateys! We've got to catch that jelly before the whale swallows it. It's heading for the whale's mouth. <laughs> Time for some tickling. Tickling? We'll tickle the whale to keep his mouth open long enough to grab the baby jelly. Quasi, you take the tail, I'll take the belly, and Peso... I'll take the jelly. Let's go. Activate tickle. <laughs> yeah, got 
idea uh, to set him down somewhere on a nice, secure Brother. rock! A rock? Yes, a growing jelly goes through big changes. First, the baby attaches to a rock. Next, it turns into a polyp. And then the polyp turns into the grown-up jelly. Understood. We'll find a rock then. And I'll see you soon, Captain. Shillington, out! Out, out of the way! Oh, oh, oh. oh. I'll, I'll just get us going again. Uh. The, the gup's not working. We need another way to travel. Swimming will take too long. First up, first up. Booster packs. Good thinking, Tunip. Activate booster packs. Wait for me. This looks like a good spot for the baby jelly. Here you go. I think he likes it, matey. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. No, that's more like it. Dorian, is that you? 